Hey everybody, welcome to the National Youth Workers Convention. Adam McLean, as always, we're doing our super duper ghetto fabulous podcast here. I want you to enjoy some of the highlights and a couple of lowlights from the convention. Check it out and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Me first and then the ghetto. to the thorns and the weeds and, and fertilize it and, you know, make sure everything's okay, temperature's just right? No. He goes, you go to the good soil. You go to the good soil and, and that's because you're going to get so much fruit out of that. And he explains to the disciples, look, you guys are that good soil. You guys get it. That's why you knew what I said had truth to it. So you came up and said, hey, what, do you, what, what is that? What is that? What, what was that whole point of that thing? He goes, see, because you get it. And you're going to produce this crazy, amazing fruit. It's going to be a hundredfold, whatever I sow into you. But the rest of the people, I'm just going to speak to them in parables because I'm not going to spend my life watering rocks. I'm not going to spend my time fertilizing thorns. And I just feel like, man, we spend a lot of time and energy fertilizing rocks. What was challenging for you this weekend? Um... The thing that really challenged me was hearing things that I knew were truth. They were not new truths for me, okay. but I was reminded just how how far my life can get from those things that I believe to be true. You know, okay. um, about prioritizing my relationship with Jesus and about um, um, interacting with the poor and things like that. Just that there are things that I know should be true in my life that are not. So it's just kind of good old fashioned conviction, I think. Okay. Um, I just I love being able to connect and network and see everybody again and again. I uh, love the teaching, love the worship. Um, I just, I'm a YS junkie, I guess. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I turned on that disco ball. <laughs> and I walked out to the middle of that stage. And I looked at that DJ, and he looked at me. And I said, Get it. <laughs> Uh, it's one of the cool things we did here at, at NYWC is we have this place here. Uh, we're doing this NIV Across America deal and people are writing verses by hand. And so at the end of the journey, when we get to San Diego in February, there'll be a handwritten copy of the Bible. We're going to talk to Mandy really quick and, uh, and she's going to explain a little bit about the project and uh, it's really sweet. So check it out. Mandy, tell us a little bit about the project. Well, this is what we're doing. We are going around the whole country. This is called Bible Across America. We are making a um, handwritten Bible, and it's going to be one person at a time. They copy down the verse, and um, they do that until we have all over 31,000 verses written by over 31,000 people, handwritten Bible. Okay, and where are you guys living? In an RV. Living big, in an RV. A big blue bus, and my husband John back there. He and I live in the Army now, together. Now, you guys have a connection to youth ministry, don't you? Oh, yeah. I, I've done youth ministry. That's pretty much been my only types of jobs I've ever had. So okay. I'm a youth ministry person through and through. 
Mandy! <laughs> Check it out. If it comes to your town, you're going to want to do it, okay? It's awesome. Um, I think my favorite part was the Her Story pre-conference event and just being able to hang out with other women in ministry and to have a chance to worship with them and just to get other support from other women because sometimes it can be tough. Did you have a favorite, favorite uh, artist or speaker or something? Oh yeah, dude, Jars of Clay, going back in the day. Yeah. Um, I think 1990s, early 90s, mid-90s. I'll jump out of the race from the purse in the space Cause the rock gets weary, it's so cold and I miss your skin It's just how I'm feeling If you need more love, I to be close to me If you want These are what I'm going to wear on stage today. These are these are actually performance um, enhancing shoes. Are they going to be for sale on eBay? No, but here, look at look at look at how they go with the belt and the outfit. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> See, there you go. Awesome. This is the, the high tech production suite. Yeah. Did you show them our garbage can? Uh, no, no, yeah, not yeah. yet. No way. That um, I heard that David Crowder's garbage went in there. Is that no, true? no, Crowder's is in the different room. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we sell his. That's how we finance a lot of the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Dude, every youth group needs one of those. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how big you would be if you had one of those in your youth room? You'd be bigger than me. Large grande. Hello, we have uh, Tommy Wooder on the phone. Go ahead, Tommy, how are you? Yeah, um, well, Hi. basically I'm hurting. Uh -huh. uh, because my loser friend keeps making fun of my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's a very fashionable shirt. Uh -huh. I think it takes a bold character to wear a shirt like this. But hang on a second, because my buddy Eddie's right here with me. Maybe you'd like to talk to him. All right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm hanging up. We're not doing that one. Don't hang up. <laughs> We're not doing that. Don't hang up. <laughs> We're not doing that. I'm very encouraged to wear my grandmother's sweater on stage. <laughs> overcome the fact that I have a hiney for a head. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you may be hurting out there. There may be hurt in your life. Let me give you a phone number that can help. It's God's phone number. It's Jeremiah 3330. It says this. If you call on, call on God, he will answer you. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Hang in there, man. I'm with you. <laughs> Come on, bring it home. Draw the Bible into it, friend. <laughs> this is Mark Matthews. We'll see you same time tomorrow, same channel. Have a good night. Thank you. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the convention center, so come on, let's go. But uh, that's a scoop. Thanks for taking the tour. We'll see you later. Hey, this is Lily Lewin in Nashville at the National Youth Workers Convention. And upcoming is Advent. This Sunday is the first week of Advent. And if this would work, that'd be great. Um, first Sunday of Advent, which is the candle of hope and the candle of Jesus coming. And we're excited because Jesus is coming. And we're going to get ready and learn about Advent in the next few weeks at the YS Podcast. So join us. Hey, thanks for watching the podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, I want to invite you to connect with me. You can send me an email at adam at youthspecialties.com. Look me up on Facebook or MySpace or Twitter and all that other stuff. We want to remind you, before I run out of escalator, whew, hold on, let's take a second. Yeah, what you do matters. You might not hear from anybody else. We want you to hear it from us. That what you do totally matters and it's golden. Love you. We'll see you next week.